Welcome to Bicycle Maintenance with a Fairly Average Mechanic and today I was thinking about a earlier video that I did which was about how to adjust your front derailleur which I illustrated by looking at my daughter's bike and looking at the video again I thought that is a really dirty front derailleur and a not very clean chain set either that's not very satisfactory is it so I thought I know what I need to do is a video about how to clean your chain set, your front derailleur and your chain. So uh, these videos are designed for people who are relatively new to cycling. You may have decided to come back to the bike or just started up on a cycling journey. Uh, your, yes, your journey into cycling and your cycling journey because of the coronavirus pandemic. And you want to know how to do a few relatively basic, some a little bit more than basic maintenance tasks on your bike. And one of the things you want to do is keep it clean. Now, I may do a separate video on how to get a brush and some uh, cleaning fluid and clean your bike. But today I want to concentrate on those particular elements of the drive tank, which are very important. If you keep them clean, your bike will run a lot smoother and you'll be a lot happier with it. So come with me and we're going to go outside actually. We're not doing this in the workshop. We're going to do this out in the open air. So come with me and let's go out to the bike. Well, here we are at the bike and we're outside in the garden in the sunshine. So we're just going to do a bit of chain cleaning and a bit of derailleur cleaning. And here we have the equipment and the stuff and the tools that we're going to use. We've got a metal bowl here. This is a bowl that my wife and daughter use for mixing up stuff for a cake, but I'm sure they won't mind me using it. And we have a couple of brushes in here. I uh, originally used to use this as a toothbrush, but uh, my dentist told me that was the wrong brush to use, so I changed it and then started using one of these. But then he told me it was the wrong time of those to use, and now, now I use this on the old Nashers, and God, doesn't it get them clean? But it hurts, though. Uh, this is Finish Line Speed Degreaser, which I must say is really good quality stuff. It's not cheap, not cheap, but it does work like a demon. This is a gunk, or as I like to call it, Philomena gunk. Engine degreasant, bought this in Halfords, and this is uh, quite a big, quite a big can. Would you call it a big can? Yes, it's a big can. Look, um, um, zooming out there so you can see what a big can it is, and very efficient it is too. And this is the chain cleaning device. You'll see it in action shortly. Uh, it's made by Park Tool. It's a, it's a good quality one. You can get cheaper uh, chain cleaners. You don't have to buy a Park Tool one. Um, but this is, this is quite good quality and it works quite well. Okay, starting off now by putting a bit of gunk in the metal cake mixing bowl. Putting the cap on safely like that. Now I've come back to the bike and I have I'm going to present going to present the bowl to the bike. There it is. I'm saying hello bowl or rather hello bike this is a bowl. Hello bowl meet bike. And I put the bowl on a chair. You didn't see that particular part of the action. And this this uh, noise that you can hear is me just dipping the uh, toothbrush into the gunk and now I'm cleaning the front derailleur with this brush. This brush has got uh, metal, metal, steel, uh, some kind of, some kind of metal, um, not teeth, no you wouldn't call them teeth would you, I suppose you'd call them, uh, I suppose you'd call them brushes. So, and I'm getting it, getting it deep in there. So getting it nice and clean. I hope you can see that now. Just doing a bit of the chain set, as you can see. And as I brush, I think you can see that there's a bit of difference to the chain ring. You can see how that grease is coming off and how the chain set is starting to shine. Look at that, isn't that a 
beautiful sight and a lovely sound as well. There's something, there's something curiously satisfying about the sound of cleaning. Now, I'll certainly, I'll certainly agree with you that it's a nicer sound if somebody else is doing it, but cleaning your bike is a very satisfying... Actually, this isn't my bike, this is my daughter's bike, and there isn't quite the same satisfaction cleaning somebody else's bike. Cleaning somebody else's bike seems like a bloody chore, especially if you're not getting paid for it. Um, I might... Uh, having done this, I might say to my daughter, well, I've cleaned your bloody bike, you can pay me for it now, but uh, she may not, as we didn't make that agreement in the beginning now you'll probably be able to see while i'm doing this that the uh, the grease is spraying all over the frame and that's one of the side effects of cleaning the side effects of cleaning is that you then have to do more cleaning okay i've carried on cleaning for a few minutes while the camera has been switched off i didn't think you needed to see every last bloody minute of the cleaning process i think you need to use a certain amount of imagination when you're watching these videos. You can't expect to have everything spoon-fed to you. Talking of spoon-fed, by the way, um, I suggest you do not try and clean either yourself or your children uh, with gunk or even with the uh, finish line degreaser, irrespective of how greasy you or your children may be, because despite what uh, you may have felt from listening to President Trump, um, this kind of uh, material is not not a cure for coronavirus, and in fact can cause you uh, a certain amount of damage. So you may end up you may end up clean and well degreased, but quite possibly also dead. So learn a lesson, kids, boys and girls, adults, whoever you are, and don't drink or can otherwise consume. Uh, gunk or disinfectant. Now, I think you'll agree, although frankly I could care less whether you agree or not, but I think you will agree that this derailleur and this chain set now looks pretty damn attractive. I could even fancy it myself. I can imagine a, a Tinder derailleur or a derailleur for Tinders and this one going on Tinder and saying front derailleur seeks a uh, clean chain for dirty fun. There you are. How about, how about that? Look at that. I'm getting stuck into this, but I'm going to stop now because I'm getting bored. The other item of equipment which I should have mentioned earlier, which is particularly useful, um, is, a, is a tea towel, something to use as a, as a rag, a cleaning rag or drying rag or washing rag whatever you call it and this is one of the tea towels that i i got from our kitchen i shall i'll put it back when i finish the uh, the cleaning action um but if you you could use uh, you could use old underwear you could use uh, vests if you ever wear a vest you could use an old t-shirt baby clothes if you had a baby or have a baby and uh, you want to try using some of their clothes just just tear them up and um, use them as uh, as cleaning cloths they work they work remarkably effectively. Don't then, of course, use them on your baby. All right, I've moved the bike on its stand to a different part of the patio because I thought the, uh, thought the light was a little bit bright where we were earlier. So let's just focus in on that rather attractive and rather clean front derailleur look at that guys uh, now here I just use the use the tea towel to give it a bit of a clean and a bit of a polish <laughs> it, it shines like a new a new pin is it a new pin or a new penny it sounds shines like a new a new something or other that shines there like a little Black out a reference for you. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? This is a 105 derailleur. I'm not sure if I told you that Shimano 105, and it's been cleaned up and it shines, shines like a new pin. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now we're going to clean the chain with the chain cleaner. I've taken the taken the top part of the chain cleaner off. It comes apart, and I've filled it pretty full with gunk. Now I'm going to present this 
to the bottom of the chain and then I'm going to put the top part of the chain cleaner on top so it's locked together like that and then I'm going to close it up using these clips okay so it, it will sort of support itself like that now what I'm going to do now inside this chain cleaner by the way is a, is a series of brushes that's all they are circular brushes that as they clean dip into the gunk so I'm holding the chain cleaner here this is my hand no that's that's my other hand the, this this hand that I'm pointing at is the left hand that's holding the chain cleaner and this other hand that I'm not pointing at this other hand that I'm using to point is my right hand and this is pointing at the chain cleaner here so it is attached to the chain it will sort of support itself but because it's full of gunk the gunk is probably going to leak out if I let it fall so I reach over in my other hand you see this is my other hand my right hand not my other hand but my right hand and now I'm going to the pedal you can't actually see that and I'm turning I'm turning it backwards very important that I turn it backwards and not forwards and as the chain goes through the chain cleaner the brushes clean it basically as brushes do and it, the brushes dip into the gunk and then the brushes clean the chain and I continue to run the chain through the chain cleaner like this you can hear that again rather attractive sound and what's happening is that the the grease that's been cleaned off the chain is mixing in with the gunk in the bottom of the chain cleaner so let's carry on doing that we're doing this in real time i hope you're not getting bored remember i'm turning the pedals backwards i'm not turning the pedals forward that will just get confusing and it won't work properly so let's just pause slightly i'll let the chain cleaner hang there and i'm going to get the cloth and i'm just going to it's, uh, it's dripping dripping a bit there i'm just going to wipe the chain and that allows you to see that the chain is getting nice and clean i hope you can see that see that properly um can you see that properly let me just move the camera slightly and i'm going to focus in on the chain and look at that look at that guys that is a okay we're looking down now at the chain cleaner and you can see the the brushes there and you can see the the gunk is a little bit difficult to see but the gunk is certainly dirtier than it was previously and there's my finger pointing at the brush you see how that brush spins around you see how this uh, this little wheel here is it a wheel uh, yes it's a wheel and that's got little brushes attached to it looks a little bit like uh, looks a bit like a hamster wheel doesn't it I don't have a hamster I suppose other animals are available you could put a hamster in there I'm not sure I'd advise it but uh, those brushes clean the chain as the chain goes through them and here is a is a lot of sort of bit of sponge spongy stuff spongy stuff um, and that if I squeeze that together like that you can see that again uh, forces as the chain goes through there it squeezes out the gunk and pushes it down into the bottom of the uh, container and now here we are looking down at the derailleur and the clean chain and that's my hand there just turning the pedals and it looks nice and clean doesn't it look at that chain look at that derailleur and look at that chain set isn't that attractive boys and girls and you too uh, can have a chain set that looks like that if you follow these tips by a fairly average mechanic so i hope you've enjoyed today's video i suggest you get out there and clean your bike it'll make a tremendous difference not only to how you ride but how you feel as well because a clean bike is a clean mind and there we are we've done it now you might say well hang on a minute
Julian, you had a can of finish line degreaser which you sang the praises of, but I never saw you use it in the video. Well, the reason for that is that I didn't actually need to use it this time. I found that the gunk, the chain cleaner, the uh, toothbrushes, the tea towel that I got from my wife all worked sufficiently to clean the relative, uh, the components that I was uh, looking at. But certainly that finish line degreaser is very useful to spray on your uh, your chain, your rear derailleur, your front derailleur, and it does work as a very effective degreaser. And particularly if you're in a hurry, you spray it, you brush it off, and it's almost as good as new. It is really good stuff. But the rest of the things, uh, the bowl, yes, you can use a cake mixing bowl. You can use other kinds of bowls which are available. You can use brushes that don't have to be toothbrushes. It could be hair brushes. It could be brushes that you used to uh, brush your cat. Even don't use a brush that you used to brush your cat. And it helps if they've got uh, stiff, stiff, well, metal bristles anyway, because you want to get a certain amount of elbow grease into your work. And what else did we use? Yes, we saw a proprietary chain cleaner from Park Tool. You don't have to buy a proprietary claim, uh, chain cleaner. You can use brushes and a bit of gunk, and it will work pretty much just as well. But if you're going to do a lot of work on your bike and a lot of maintenance on your bike, it's always useful to get good tools, and a proper chain cleaner is quite a useful addition to the workshop. So I hope you're enjoying these series of videos. If you want to watch the others, you can find them uh, referenced somewhere around this video up there, down there, I don't know, in my lady's bed chamber. If you click below to subscribe, if you like these videos, if you give it a thumbs up, that's always very nice. And if you click the bell, that'll send you an email, just what you need, more junk email telling you that I've uploaded a new video. So, hope coronavirus is treating you well. Hope you're enjoying your new forays out onto the bike and look forward to seeing you in another video. In the meantime, take care and see you next time.